To reconcile your bank account in Procare's Expenses and Ledger module, go to the module and then click the Functions menu at the top and go to the last option, Reconcile Bank Accounts. If you've never reconciled your bank account, you'll see no last reconciled date in the upper right corner. So you'll need to first select your checkbook, and that would be, say, my primary checkbook. We'll have no statement date or beginning balance or uh, any bank fees or anything here recorded. Prior to doing this reconciliation, you should have entered any deposits or other checks uh, that have already been reconciled in another way, for example, manually or through another system. You should have already entered those into Procare, so they would exist in Procare. And then what you'll need to do is come to the Edit Register button in the lower left corner here and get a listing of all of those items up on the screen so that you can check them off as previously reconciled. That way they will not be included in this first reconciliation. So you can see I have lots of checks here uh, from last year and moving into this year. I'm going to go ahead and uh, check these off as already reconciled and I'll skip forward. And now I've marked off all of my checks. Uh, I'll want to mark off any other previously reconciled items. For example, my bank fees. I've done my checks if I had other credits here. Or uh, other deposits that I needed to reconcile, I would check those off. These are going to be included in the statement I'm about to reconcile. So we'll save that information. Now we'll put our statement date in, and that will be the end of February. My beginning balance will be, this is coming from my statement for February, the beginning balance for that statement, and the ending balance for that statement. And if I had any bank fees or service charges, I would record those here. The same with interest earned. I'm going to skip that for this demonstration. On the next screen, when I click Next, we'll see a list of all of our outstanding deposits all of our outstanding other credits, checks. I'm going to select all of them by clicking a little checkbox at the top, and any other debits that would be outstanding. And so we'll see we have a difference here in our checking account. My cleared balance shows a balance ending of 1883.32, and I've got uh, an ending balance that I entered from my statement as 1331.32, so I've got a discrepancy. At this point, what I would do is click the Save button and figure out where I've got that discrepancy. So I'll go ahead and do that and figure out where I've got that discrepancy and come back. And now I'm back. I've discovered that I forgot to enter one check into Procare in February for uh, ABC Supply Company for the amount of 552. And when I add that check in, now I'm reconciled and balanced. At this point, I can click the Reconcile button, and it'll reconcile my checkbook through the end of February. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click Yes. Once I say Yes at this point, I will not be able to undo this reconciliation. So if I have any questions at this point, I should save it and go uh, check anything that I need to check, maybe do a backup of the system if I'd like to come back to this point in time. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, I'd like to reconcile. And there's the reconciliation report. We recommend that you print this report at this time and book it so you can look at it the next time. We'll exit out of there. And the next time you come into reconciliation, we'll go back and choose our same bank account. We'll notice that we have previously reconciled at the end of February. It'll maintain our ending balance from that statement as the beginning balance of the next statement, and you can move forward from there. And that's how to reconcile your bank account in Procare.